Hello, this is Sirat Ali. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy and safe life. I have been receiving a lot of questions from some of you through my emails and under the uh, videos in the comment box that how you can reshape the data once you download it from the screener app. So given those questions and queries, I decided why not I record a short tutorial which can provide the answer to those people who have asked a very genuine question and may also benefit those who are silently waiting for, for some resources to appear which can benefit them uh, in their research journey. For this exercise of data download and data reshaping, let's take an example of listed forms in India and download their environmental, social, and governance data for the past three years. Uh, let's stick to 2022, 2021, and 2020 financial years. So once the data is downloaded, we will reshape it from, from wide format to the long format to make it ready for the analysis. Okay, so let's see how we do it. If you know this process, uh, you can replicate it for any market, any data, for any sample period. So it just become uh, just the replication of what I'm demonstrating now. So let's get started. The first thing is I want you to launch the screener app by writing screener in the search. Click on the first option, screener app. Now you are on the screener app. Look at the left hand side. There are various screens available. So I want you to go under the universe, the option include indices, lists, portfolios, screen stocks. Click on this edit. Once this dialog box open, see the list and these three dots. Click on these three dots. Launch a new browser. In this browser, click on this all indices. And in the search bar, write Refinitive India. And then click on search. You can see the options. The first option, Refinitive India. It has 909 securities. This is the one which represent the overall Indian market. There are industry-based lists also available for Indian market. But for this exercise, I'm going to rely on the overall Indian uh, market and the index and the list that Refinitive has created. So the first one I'm going to select and at the bottom right, click OK. Click on OK again. Now you can see the list of Indian firms. Okay, so they are appearing in our result section. Let's add something uh, like their eyes and code, some basic identifiers, add their industry, industry name, Geeks industry name. So I think these two should be fine for this exercise. Now we want their environmental, social, and governance data. For that, click on this data item library, launch it, click on these three dots. Here you can uh, you can now select environmental, social, and governance score. You can see some of the score I have recently searched. They are appearing here. But if they, nothing is appearing that is relevant to your, uh, your requirement, you can go to the left hand side and search for the environmental, social and governance. Click on it and under that ESG analytics and within that refinitive ESG scores and grades. We want ESG score. Yep, this is one we need. And instead of going for series, let's say if we need the data for last three years, instead of going for series, I'm going to add uh, one by one for each financial year. And you can go back to my previous videos where I have discussed what's the issue uh, currently the screener app has if you go for series. Okay, so, so the best way to uh, download the data at this stage is to download it one by one. Uh, let's do it for each year, 2022. Click OK. So it will be added here. Go back again. ESG score is appearing here. Search for 20, right 2021, click OK, and do it for the third year as well. And that is 2020. 
and click OK. So now we have one variable ESG for past three years, 2020, 2021, 2022. Let's add, an, add another variable. Uh, for this, let's add environmental pillar score, which is one of the pillar like E, E part. So click on this and now do it for 2022. Same for 2023. Oh, sorry, not 2023, but 2021. It's done. And do it for final year as well. That is 2020. Okay, so, so now we have got two variables for the past three years. So now this is the wide format data. We want to convert it into a long format and then get it ready for the analysis, for the panel data analysis. Okay, how you can do that? So let's download this data in Excel, export as values. So the data is exported in Excel, just click on it. An Excel file is opening. Okay, so here it is, enable the editing. We have got the identifier, the company name, Eisencode, Geeks industry name, three years of ESG data, three years of environmental data. If you want to add more years, you can add more years for each variable. And if you want to add more variables, you can also add more variables. So you just need to repeat this process that you are uh, currently viewing. Okay, so now the data is with us. We want it to be converted from wide format to the long format. How you can do that? The first thing I normally do is just to add another column and create any, uh, like just say ID or unit ID or company ID and give them the ID in a series. So now you can see uh, we have 900 plus company IDs for Indian farms. For the data we have downloaded, let's see, 909 IDs, that's fine. Okay, and here I want you to do some editing here. So here, uh, just add ESG and give it an year, 2022, okay? And and do the same for, for next column, ESG, and make it 2021. And ESG, say it is 2020, okay? And do the same for these three columns. Say it's an environmental variable for 2022. This is environmental variable for 2021. And this is environmental variable for 2020. Okay. So now let's select this data. Control shift and downward arrow. Control C and take it to the data. So we have selected the full data from Excel, and we're going to take it to the strata. Okay, so once you open the strata, you see here the data editor, click on it, click on the first cell, and control V. So here, select this treat first row as variable names, click on it. So now you can see the same data that we had in Excel. It is now uh, imported in the uh, in this data. Okay, so you can see the same data, uh, three years of ESG and three years of environmental data. Okay, so it looks good. So now we want to write a code which can reshape the white data into a long data. How do we do that? Let's get started. Let's close this one. Let's come here, write reshape then long, then the uh, variable name, uh, except the the year. So, you know, we have ESG and we had the years, then the environmental and years. So just write ESG and environment. So this is what we coded in the Excel, ESG and ENV. So these are the two variables. Then the comma, and put an I, bracket open, ID that we created in the first column in Excel bracket close, and then with a space, write J, bracket open, and write year, and bracket close. 
Okay, so this is the command you need. Very simple command. Reshape long the variable names, whatever you, you had in the Excel. If there are three variables, you write three variables, four variables, write four variables. In this exercise, we have only two, environment and uh, ESG. So we have written that. And in, in this bracket after I, we have written ID. If you have named it as unit ID, company ID, ID, whatever name you have given to the to the unique ID, just put it there. So once you are well, you're done with the writing of this command, click enter. Okay, so what we see here, the number of observations from wide 909 converted to long 2727. Number of variables in the wide format were 11. Now they have changed to eight. So let's see how the data now look like. Click on this data editor. So now you see uh, the, the company IDs, the years, so this is the new uh, column that have been created. The identifier was already there, the company name, Eisen code, gigs. And here we have the ESG, the first variable for all the years, for all the companies. And then environment we have for all the companies for all the years. For example, as a sample, if you want to select, let's say this company, it doesn't have much of the data. Let's select some company which has uh, most of the data. Let's select this, Wipro Limited. So now you see for this Wipro Limited, uh, we have the ESG data for three years, 2020, 2021, 2022. We have environmental data for three years, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Okay, so if you want to see how the data looked like when it was in, in Excel, so let's search for the same company. Well, this one, find next. So now this was the data. This is how it looked like. Okay, so I'm going to just bold this one and bring our, uh, let's see if I can do that. Okay, so make it bold and highlight it. And now you bring the data editor here just for you to visualize how it looked like. Okay, so where is the company that we have? Okay, here is the company. Okay. okay, so now you can see um, the, the ESG data for 2022, 87.84. So 87.84, this is 2022. Okay, so 88.13, so 88.13, 87.38, 87.38. What about environmental data for 2022? It is 77.89, 77.89, 2022. 77.64 for 2021, that's here. 77.52 for 2020, that's here. Okay, so now you can see we have verified that our data reshape from wide to long is working well. Okay, so if you have now 10 variables for 20 years for any market, you can download the wide format data from Screener app and then reshape it by using this very simple command that I have shown. You can take a note of that command. It's very simple here. Reshape long, then whatever the variable names you have, whatever the ID you have got and the year here. Okay, so just use that and uh, the data is ready for your analysis. Let's say you have some financial data, which are your control variables. You have some dependent variable. Uh, you have independent variable it will be ready for your uh, analysis, whatever analysis you want to do, some regression analysis. Okay, so with this, I'm done with this tutorial. If you have any questions about this demonstration uh, or have any suggestions about future contents, please leave your comments under the video or send me an email. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated for future contents. I'll see you next time with more uh, demonstrations. Till then, take care and have a very good weekend. Bye-bye.